Today, we have unlimited privileges with online learning, even with group collaboration within the private and public organization, with methods such as facilitation and promoting individual critical thinking skills, online group learning and discussion has become a favorite method for all of us. Despite of all this, let us now discuss the advantages of online learning. For example, what are the benefits and challenges of using web conferencing? Examples of benefits for the participants, the challenges for moderators and facilitators, watch my previous video on what are the advantages of online learning from the video link above. Now, we all know that the word internet is with a public network. The word intranet means cross network and is for a selected group of people. Now, let us focus on intranets. There are two aspects of intranets. One, technical infrastructure. Two, learning and performance support. Technical infrastructure is only available to specific user who have been authorized to access it. Ease of distribution, ease of access, and use of existing infrastructure. Learning and performance support refers to the review of learning and performance resources and computer-based training. For more information on the advantages of performance support systems for individuals and for organizations, watch technical infrastructure from the video link above. So in using online learning method, what are the ethical issues involved in an online learning environment? Adult educators should alert and attentive to the unavoidable ethical and legal issues surrounding internet-based instruction. The exponential rate at which new hardware and software are introduced is likely to frustrate any attempts to standardize educational practices. Nonetheless, it is critical that the adult and continuing education field continue to identify as a discipline that respects the dignity of persons by promoting and observing standards of ethical behavior. So what are ethical problems associated with internet technology? The ethical problems associated with internet technology are the psychological well-being, society risks, email information which can be good or bad, offensive speech, violent speech can be heard. For more information on what are the ethical issues involved in an online learning environment, watch from my previous video on the video link above. How do we learn with modern technology? The modern era depicts the transformation of traditional learning to learning with technology. A few older adult learners find it hard to maneuver the gadgets of computer related to technology, whereas younger adults are more at ease with the change. The rapid evolution of internet technologies is likely to accelerate complicating the teaching and learning of internet skills. Today, we have constant technological change and transform. More powerful protocols replace older ones. The introduction of World Wide Web, WWW, and better, faster, and more media-rich internet. So what should adult educators do? Adult educators should help the students to construct mental models that support experimentation and problem solving. Adult educators should emphasize the understanding of internet as a social environment and problem solving. Adult educators should help students to focus less on the computer itself and cables, etc. This concludes my chapter today. From me to you, please watch Learning with Modern Technology from the video link above. Finally, thank you so much for your participation, watching and listening. Until next time.